satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. I want you to counter me about what I'm about to say. Sure. Or agree with me if for sure. some reason you agree yeah. with me. Um, I've traveled across the country because of YouTubing. Okay. I've spoken to a lot of military folks and mili- the military is sort of similar to sport in some ways in terms of it's a combination of people from different uh, parts of India. Mm. Okay. I'm just talking about this from an India perspective. India itself is a combination of many countries yeah. according to me. Yeah. Fair to say, like very culturally different. Yeah. Few things that tie us together. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that every ethnicity has strengths and weaknesses. Sure. Completely okay? agree with you. I'm half Punjabi, half Gujarati. And I've seen the strengths and weaknesses on both sides. Okay. But when you grow up, Gujarati got taught the value of money. Yeah. That's a core yeah. aspect and business. And when you grow up Punjabi, you're taught the value of social skills. That's yeah. a big one. Massive. Uh, and projection. Mm. Like how to project yourself as cool. It's a part of Punjabi culture. <laughs> I'm not even talking about the weaknesses on both yeah. sides. I've always noticed since my history of remembering cricket, okay, since I've been watching cricket, th- there's always been a cohort of North Indians and Punjabis in the team. Okay. <laughs> and I've, I've honestly had a lot of South Indian bros in my life. And mm-hmm. I've had these conversations with my South Indian bros. The South has always felt less represented in the Indian dressing room. I don't think that's a false thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the, the Punjabi dudes know how to play the people's game. One, uh, we're taught it. It's in our blood. Mm. We're, we're taught to be a Mahal oriented uh, sure, unit. Yeah. But I've always felt in cricket, the South has been not as well represented as it could have been. I still feel that's true to last year. Yeah, it's, it is. Is, ha, is that chatter in the cricket world? Well, I don't know how much it is there in the cricket world. Uh, I'll tell you what I've noticed. These are my observations of Indian cricket. In Indian cricket, there will always be representation from Mumbai. Yeah. There will always be always be representation from Delhi. And there will always be representation from Punjab. Go back 35 years and tell me one Indian team without representation from these three, these three states. Right? Mumbai, because... One, one of the reasons is, is that they deserve it in a sense because it's the it's the mecca of cricket here in India. Uh, and I think it's got the best cricketing ecosystem perhaps in the world. I love it. Playing cricket in, in, in Mumbai is one of the greatest experiences of my life. Even today, if I'm in India and I'm practicing, I go to Shivaji Park and I practice. I love it there. Something about the soil there. Something that's there. The energy there is just so beautiful. This right? land makes anyone more ambitious. Yeah, I agree. I, I think I agree. primal level is, but go on. And they've won 45, close to 50 Ranji trophies. So they, they deserve to have representation. And you always see that guys from Mumbai, in general, youngsters from Mumbai, have always had a longer rope than youngsters from any other part of the country. Now for guys like, guys from Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad, uh, Maharashtra, Maharashtra even, Madhya Pradesh, UP. How do these blokes get into the side? You have to. Before the IPL came along, you have to win Ranji Trophy. Win. Not score runs. You have to win. For you to even be noticed, to be a part of the fray, you have to win Ranji Trophy. Anyone who understood this game at a young age have ended up having a long career. Anyone who's... Look at any batter for India, who's played for India for a long time and who scored runs, big runs. They've all been batters who've once scored runs for the team but have also known how to score runs for themselves. They set up their own base first. And in a sense, in cricket, you'll call it batsmanship. Mm. Yeah. But look at the guys from the south who played for a really long time, who scored so hugely successful. All of those guys are guys who've known how to score runs for themselves and score runs for them team, for the team. Right? That's the only way they've been able to sustain themselves. Take, take all the greats from the south of India. The only way they've sustained themselves is to know, is to know, to play cricket, cricket like how, say, people from the west of India play or people from the north of India play. Because there, yes, you're a people's, pe- you're people's person, but you know how to self-sustain as well. Now, 
cricket in the south of india is played very differently cricket in the south of india is played as a team sport mm right now the culture has changed when i was a youngster it was played as a team sport it's a team sport what can we do for the team what can we do like honestly i had so many seniors growing up that would tell me robin don't forget to score your own runs don't forget to score your own runs don't forget to score your runs i'm like what are you talking about this is a team sport alex like, sir i'll be like bro i'm like no man like i'll play for my team we'll win and then we'll grow in happen now when how do kl rahul karun nayar manish pande um, s arvind abhimanyu mithun all of these karnataka boys how do they play for india when did they play for india it's after we won ranji trophy if we hadn't won ranji trophy they probably wouldn't have got to look in they were probably been known because the ipl came about but for representation to happen in the indian team you have to win ranji trophy like say from a, a, a kid from kerala the only like i can tell you there are five kids five boys from kerala today who can play for play, who can play for india but they won't be noticed until they win a ranji trophy saurashtra how did jay, jay dev not cut some of the other boys come into the indian team or make a comeback in the indian team he won ranji trophy as a captain for, for saurashtra tamil nadu after dinesh karthik and ashwin tell me representation in the indian team they'll get to india a not not much after that The, one of the reasons I brought up this whole conversation is because I'm a huge admirer of Sai Sudarshan. Yeah, I love him, and I want to see him keep playing for him and Tilak Verma, for that matter, two South boys. And whenever I see these guys bat, see as a fan, I notice the expression, what's in their eyes, and these two guys are too focused and self-confident. Another one you missed is uh, Sai Kishor. Sai Kishor is. Well. I love that kid. That kid, he's such a hugely improved cricketer. and i think he's one of the best left arm spinners in our country and i don't know why he's not playing every match of the ipl um i don't know uh, and and for him he's captain of the uh, tamil nadu ranji trophy team and i think they lost the semi finals the finals of the ranji trophy this year i promise you till they win ranji trophy a serious look won't be given there so this thing you're talking about um uh, on the international level where it is a social game as well it applies to ipl teams as well not necessarily not not that much because we we were also dealing with a different dynamic of foreign players foreign coaches i think in within the ipl we haven't gotten out of the gambit of being obsessed with the with skin that is not ours <laughs> our color we haven't gotten out of it yet i promise you there are there are there are incredible indian coaches available um but we we just not looking at them we not giving them the attention and the 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 amount of money a franchise is willing to spend on a foreign coach they're not willing to spend on an indian coach and i do not understand that logic you're playing the indian premier league right you're playing predominantly with 25 25 uh, players in a team so you're playing with 17 indian players and eight foreign players your who are you catering to majority major, majorly here your majority of catering is done to the indian players so you need a solid indian coach there right now what what teams are doing is they're having foreign coaches with an indian mentor but the indian mentor is a is a great mm like an indian great now how much will a 17 year old kid or an 18 year old kid or a 20 year old kid have the courage to go and have a have a conversation maybe in today's generation maybe the kids will because they don't know these indian greats as well as we do but you want to have a perfect mix then you have to have a blend of both it has to be blended right now it's the scales too much on uh, too less on the indian side you need to have more indian indian coaches there you need to balance it because the communication because a lot of us uh, are indian you have to understand to pursue a career of cricket in india you can't pursue another career not even education because the competition is that hard man so you can't pursue edu- education tell me like the f- people who have completed education within our ecosystem maybe 2% mm. the rest of us haven't like 98% of us haven't completed our education we've learned and upskilled ourselves along the way to speak well to speak eloquently uh, to communicate well all of that we've learned along the way and while you play sport you grow there's a lot of depth that happens growth of depth that happens growth doesn't happen vertically growth happens more horizontally and you go you go in you go mm. with growth happens within so if a lot of works put into language and how to communicate that people can 
articulate it otherwise they can't so so a lot of people can articulate beautiful things not not perhaps in english or not perhaps in hindi but maybe in gujarati or punjabi or haryani or bengali mm. uh most people are 12 standard passes right yeah, um, if that if that not even 12th pass if that 12th is quite high for cricket i'd say 10th standard 9th standard they'll give up and they'll like, okay, pursue this completely okay the, the guys who complete their undergrad and all like ashwin's an engineer i think anil kumble was an engineer uh doesn't make a difference to the game yeah like i I've, i've graduated and finished college and and i feel like it's given me a sense of confidence and a well-roundedness and especially after cricket that i did not have or, or uh, i would not have had and i again i got to you know uh, credit my mum for this cuz when i went when i went to it was 2007 i was playing the cricket world cup in 50 over world cup in west indies when my examinations happened my final year become and my mum says i don't care what i don't care if you won a world cup you have to go and finish your education and i went the following year in 2008 in april and i gave my supplies supplementals so i went and gave my arrears and supplementals and i passed um it it makes you analytical about your own game perhaps yeah, that's what may, maybe that as well but for me it just gave me a sense of confidence that uh and a sense of well roundedness to be honest i i can't define it so to speak but a sense of well roundedness that perhaps i wouldn't have had that if it would have made me feel like yaar yeah, i came till there and i didn't finish it you know uh but i got to give credit to the guys who actually choose to give it up at 9th standard 10th standard and say okay i'm going to pursue this full time and then you know do my best to upskill myself along the way it takes a lot of effort uh, individual effort to be able to do that and a lot of and a lot of the boys do that and uh it takes a lot yeah to develop that confidence and sport in a sense helps you develop a lot of that confidence a lot of it is a lot of effort out of the field if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip